Alrighty guys, so today we're going to be doing an oil change on the Dodge Durango 2021. Alright, so it's up on the ramps. We're going to get under it now. Alright. And here we are. Here's our bolt. And further up there, you can see uh, right here. Here's our filter right here. Um, just keep in mind, uh, if you were driving your vehicle, oil might be a little warm or hot, depending on how long you were driving. Uh, it's probably best to do it when it's warm. This bolt might come off a little bit easier, and uh, yeah, just make sure you're wearing something to protect yourself so you don't get burned or dirty. Okay, so our bolt here is a 13 millimeter. Um, I'm going to be using a, a 3 inch extension and a ratchet. So I'll take that off first. Okay, so it's pretty much almost done dripping, but just let it go until it pretty much seems dead. Um, yeah, kind of missed the pan there, so a little mess. But let that drip out, and then we're gonna go after that filter. Okay, eventually it's gonna stop, but when it gets to that dripping stage, you're gonna clean the uh, the plug area. Let's see, I just hit dripping stage, but um, you're just gonna clean that up put the bolt back on and then we're gonna unplug the uh, filter okay so now our old plugs on we're gonna go after our filter is up there um now you can use your oil your oil filter wrench probably the strap one is probably the best one for this scenario because uh, with an extension at that angle it's gonna be very very hard now, sometimes you can get lucky and literally just unscrew it with your hand, but it's going to take a lot of muscle. So, in this case, I unfortunately don't have one of these strap filters. I have my claw filter, and uh, it's going to give me some trouble. So, I actually going to try and muscle it out. But, uh, just, yeah, be careful because that will start dripping right away. Um, just have your oil catch pan ready. Uh, all right, let's see we can do this All right, so I got lucky I muscled it out um, There it is the old one I Unscrew it a little bit first let it drip until it stops and then keep going Unscrew a little bit more let it drip some more and if just Eventually you just yank the whole thing out you might make a mess, but Yep, that's out anyway, so now we're gonna go put our new stuff on uh, new oil filter first um, clean that up where the drip is at you know yeah next step so here's what I got I always stick with this no matter what vehicle I'm driving I don't know just my Canaan um, so this is the one for the Durango I have the 2021 5.7 so that's what you'll be using for the filter if you have the same vehicle. And here's your oil type. Like, I always stuck with this brand as well. I don't know, I just like it. I had the Chrysler, it's the same thing. This always runs fine. Never had a problem, so five quarts here, two more in there, seven quarts. That. Make sure they're all the same. 5W20. And I have my funnel here, so let's get to it. Here's our new filter. This is what it looks like. I always, always, always break the seal off the new oil and rub a little layer on the outside. So it makes coming off easier, a little bit easier. It kind of makes like a seal, I guess you will. So we'll go on to do that. Okay, so there you have it. Nice thin coat for new oil. Now we're gonna put this on. Okay, so that's back in there. I still got a little drip there, I gotta clean. Um put it on as tight as you can, not but not tight enough to break it. So just clean any little dripping marks you see. And then we're going to go fill it up now. Yep. Alright, so filters in. And just fill it up take your time to make no messes when everything's done you seal it back up one 
once everything is closed back up, you're gonna have a look under the car and make sure nothing is leaking. Once you see no leaks, you can take your old oil, put it right back in this container, take it to your local mechanic or whoever accepts your oil, and just clean it up and you're good to go. Also, you're gonna have to go back to the car to reset your oil life. Okay, so now we're gonna reset our oil life. And I have it in run without the engine on. Hit OK. Hold reset actually. Okay, and to reset your oil life, I held OK and then tapped it twice and came through. So there you have it. If you want to, go to your trip meter. And this is the one I use currently for A, but I usually keep track on B, so um, you can reset that one. And this is my daily, like I said, just there you go. That's how you change your oil filter and your oil for the Dodge Durango 2021 5.7 Hemi. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, leave it in the comments. Let me know what's going on, and I'll see if I can help out. Thanks. Bye-bye.